Hello, friend. Thanks for pressing play on this episode of The Brassy Roadcast. Welcome to the adventure. Hey, it's Jen, the head broad in charge at the Brassy Broadcasting Company with the first installment of The Brassy Roadcast. And joining me is my lovely wife, Beth, the best person to travel with and do a podcast because she has never met a stranger. In this Brassy Roadcast series, we will be sharing our Big Sky Yellowstone adventure. We flew into Montana today and we'll be heading south tomorrow to find my mom and dad in their RV somewhere near Yellowstone. So you're going to get the ins and outs, the must-sees, the must-not-sees, and so much more from this adventure. So let's start with day one, a big travel day. We flew from Indianapolis to Denver to Missoula. We flew United, and I have to say I was pretty pleased with it because what we did, we decided to spend the extra money to get the extra leg room, and I think that was money well spent. Beth, what were your thoughts on our flight today? Well, Jen, I have to doff my cap to United Airlines because, as you recall, with our trip to Hawaii earlier. Wait, you said doff your cap? (laughs) What? (laughs) What? Who says that in a podcast? I have to doff my cap. Like, I've never heard that in a podcast. Well, I I do like to be the first at things. At any rate, as you may recall, in our Hawaii travels, United didn't perform up to standard, which was part of the reason why we did use United this time, because we had a $200 voucher. Yeah, so uh, I would concur with your your thought that the paying extra for the legroom was worth it. I know for me, all six foot of me, it was very much worth it. It was it was good experience with United today. Well, I will doff my new Missoula, Montana <laughs> trucker hat to that. <laughs> and I love flying into Denver because. Well, it was really hazy and we couldn't see the mountains, which was kind of unfortunate because I've flown in there once before. But as we flew out of Denver and got out of all of the haze and fog, then it was much better and we could actually see mountains with snow, which was really super cool. And I wanted to give a shout out to the new Belgian brewing restaurant in Denver. We snuck in there just in time before the breakfast cut off and I had a breakfast burrito that was pretty fabulous. What'd you have? I had the big sky breakfast, I guess, whatever it was called. Eggs and uh, potatoes and little silver dollar pancakes with the best crispy bacon I'm sure that Montana can offer. But we were in Denver. Denver offers good bacon, too. (laughs) It's all a big giant blur, isn't it? how I feel about flying. And frankly, I think I need a kudo for how well I flew today because I'm a white knuckle flyer and I even looked out the window numerous times to see your aforementioned snow-capped mountains and I enjoyed it. Uh, The looking out the window part, I enjoyed it. Okay, well, good. So what was your in-flight entertainment today? Besides you? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, And besides Jiminy Cricket, who was sitting next to me, who would not sit still, who kept thumping the armrest as I was trying to nap. My biggest entertainment was not saying something to him. I was in my head entertaining myself with all the things I could have said to him. But I took some good naps. Um, I tried to watch a movie, but I took a good nap. And I tried to read, but I took a good nap. So I had a lot of good naps today. Okay, well, that's one way to get through the flight. I binged on some podcasts. I started listening to, I found out uh, that Terry Clark, country music singer Terry Clark, has a podcast, and I love Terry Clark. And it was fun to hear her interview other musicians because she's she's such a fan of music. So I feel that when you're a fan of something, it makes for some great podcasts and some great questions. So shout out to Terry Clark and her Country Gold Backstage podcast. I remember another thing that I found to be entertaining during the flight. What was that? The colonial woman sitting on the wing <laughs> of the airplane. <laughs> you know that you've married well when your wife bumps you and says, did you see the colonial woman? sitting on the wing of the airplane. 
because she knows it always makes me giggle. If you haven't seen Bridesmaids, you're going to think that we're crazy. But if you have seen Bridesmaids, then I know that you're right there with us. So let's talk about Missoula. Missoula has, I think it's the coolest airport that I've ever been in. Because it looks like a giant Bass Pro Shop. (laughs) Yeah, it does. It really does. Description of it. Yeah, or it also reminded me of um, the guy in Roadhouse, the bad guy that had all of the heads (laughs) and the big giant bear, Brad Wesley. The Missoula (laughs) airport looks like Brad Wesley's house. (laughs) Yes, it does. Down in the baggage claim, mostly, was where we saw most of the stuffed heads down there. Yeah, but thumbs up on the Missoula airport. It's not super big, very easy to navigate. As a matter of fact, the first selfie we took in Montana was of the moose that was mounted behind us. Remember? Yes, you're right. So let's talk about the town of Missoula. What were your thoughts on that? Well, it's a quaint little town. It's very lovely and not commercialized at all. Unique shops, lots of breweries, which makes you happy. But the one place we ended up eating that had beer also served wine. So that made me happy. But it's a great town. People are very friendly, easy to navigate. And and tell me the name. What wine did you have? Oh, what wine did I have? I know. I can't remember it. Wasn't it the Kung Fu Riesling? <laughs> yes. Kung Fu Gal Riesling. That is so you. Yeah. I had the Bear Blonde Ale, and that was a big thumbs up. And we did some shopping. It's been a big day. But we found the coolest Airbnb. We kind of booked it last minute because we decided that we didn't want to have to be in a rush to drive down south from Missoula. So we are staying at the Cougar Ranch. Appropriately named, don't you think? You mean since you're 10 years older than me? Exactly. And I'm a cougar. Yeah, you sure are. But I love this Cougar Ranch. It's got kind of a cool 70s vibe. Like it's got red carpet. Yeah, it's kind of awesome. And the ceilings, like it's got wood ceilings. It's very rustic and it's absolutely what I think you would expect to see in Montana. Would you agree with that? I absolutely agree. That and the goats out in the in the pen. That was an added bonus. And the Shetland ponies. Yes, and they have seen bears around here. I'm cool if we don't see a bear. I think seeing a bear would be cool. Did they see a bear or did they just see something that, quote, the bear left behind? I thought that's what they saw. Bear poo. Oh, well, maybe that's what it was. I think that's what she said. Oh, I just heard bear and, you know. All right, so friends, I think we are going to wrap it up here because there's a pool table, there's a hot tub. There are just way too many cool things that we are too tired to take advantage of this evening. So we're going to wrap this up. We are out for now. We'll be back. Good night. See ya.